guys it's aliana and i am back here with another video i'm going to be doing my hair and talking to you guys and just talking about my life like i haven't really talked to you guys and i have some things to share so yeah i haven't been on youtube in about two months i uploaded the other day but that video was literally from august and i just uploaded it in january so i'm gonna get into that i am doing my hair i co-washed my hair with the as i am co-wash that's my first time ever using it and my hair feels really moisturized and it looks really shiny actually it's going to attempt to do some neat french braids and i'm not the best braider so do not come for me this might be hard for me let's see if i can even multitask so the products that I'm going to be using is the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Coil Enhancing Moisture Butter and then I'm going to mix that with the Aveeno Almond Oil Blend Hair Mask um, just because I have a little bit of it left and it's really moisturizing. Uh, I'm just going to mix those products and I don't know if you guys can tell why I did cut my hair and I'm still not over it. I'm like actually kind of upset at myself because uh, like in my culture, um, like my Native American culture, we're not really supposed to cut our hair because it's like a part of us. And I mean, I'm trying not to be like my hair, but every time I brought the idea to my mom, like she was so opposed to it. It will grow back as long as I take care of it it is so much like i regret few things that i've done but cutting my hair is one of them because it was actually so long and i guess i mean it's like still kind of long also using castor oil to help with my growth let's begin so this semester academically it was one of my best semesters but in the end something really bad happened like i was so flabbergasted so i took a global health class it's required for my public health major and I had an A the whole semester like I was working hard and everything in on time and I even turned in some papers like really early like like weeks early for some reason and that was an accident because I was just so excited about that class we were able to um, research a specific country and topic and I researched Guyana because I didn't really know much about South America and Guyana is the only English speaking country in South America so I wanted to see how that related to the health of Guyana and then I looked into um, HIV and what they're doing for that specific country we learned about like so many different things in so many different countries it was like one of the most interesting classes I've ever took a professor um, she kind of used misleading grading throughout the whole entire course, so sorry I'm like losing my train of thought. This is why I can't tell stories because I jump from like one thing and I'm like, oh no, I have to add this. It's like, it's not a straight line. My brain is like, oh my god. But um, anyways, one of my later classes, the class was from um, 3.35 until 5.15. Like, I don't ever want to do a late class like that. It's so it's like so annoying and then especially when it became winter it started getting darker later so I, I mean earlier so I was in class and it was like getting darker and I'm like and if you go to Elon that class was in the psych building anyways I had an A throughout the whole entire course I was really confident in my final portfolio and she adds like um, comments throughout the whole entire paper so each paper we had like a total of maybe like seven papers and we had to put it into a final portfolio and i was really confident i was like i worked really hard i went through each paper corrected the comment that she had added information if i wasn't being specific enough etc fixing citations and tell me why my a went down to a c i was so livid i was so livid i literally woke up crying like oh grades don't matter they matter to me like i've always been someone who has done really well academically and 
I am working on trying not to let grades affect me or like my mental health, but honestly, I'm like, I want to be successful. And in order for me to achieve what I want to do, I need to have good grades. So when I saw that C, I was like, there's no way, like, this has to be incorrect. Emailing her, I was like pleading with her, I was like, I don't understand, like, why I got this grade. I don't believe this reflects how I, um, how I actually did in your class because I literally had an A the whole entire semester. And I was, um, banking on getting three A's this semester I fell short in the end, but it's like, okay, I didn't do terrible this semester. My camera's still recording, I don't know what the last thing I said, but just know I was so mad about that. And so the classes that I was taking for fall semester were Global Violence Against Women, um, Global Health, Global Health in Africa, and research methods. All my classes had like a global view so I was really looking at different countries. I'm so grateful that I'm able to have this education especially going to Elon. Like Elon is such a great school and I'm so grateful that I get um like basically a full scholarship to go there. So that takes the burden off. I'm studying abroad for the spring semester so that's why i'm not at school right now i'm not doing a j term i'm supposed to leave a little over a month and it's my first time out of the country i'm so nervous and excited i'm really excited to go to south africa and just see how apartheid has affected your public health system and i'm just really excited to see a different public health system and just see a different culture and broaden my perspective on things. We plan on vlogging and I will be consistent there. Um, I'm not going to be lacking because 2019 I was lacking on the pictures. Like looking back in my snap memories, literally, I don't know what went wrong. Like I barely have any memories, bro. Like, I barely took any pictures. I didn't even take pictures on New Year's Eve, and I actually looked cute. Like, what was I doing? But that's the past. We're moving forward. The reason why I wasn't filming videos consistently or at all, really, was because my mental health was not the best. Like, when I tell you, I had the worst depressive episode I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. Like, it was so bad. Like, I isolated myself so much. And I just feel like I missed out on having fun and just spending time with my friends. And obviously, while you're having that depressive episode, you're just thinking so negatively. And I was like... I was just thinking like all my friends, especially my friends that I live with, like I was just thinking like, oh, they don't actually like me, like they're not my friends, like they don't care, like they don't want to be around me, and I just felt like a burden, like I didn't want to put that upon them, you know, like how I was feeling, I didn't want to kill the mood, so I would just stay in my room, but in reality, I should have talk to them about how I was feeling. I mean, I would talk to Haley about it, but I didn't want to like burden her with my problems and keep talking about it because I didn't want like how I was feeling to affect everyone else. And so, <laughs> this is so freaking funny, but um, so I turned 21 last semester um, in September and literally the week of my birthday, I got broken up with, which I thought was really funny. Well, at the time, I didn't think it was funny. I was just like, wow. But yeah, I'm single. Single again, like Big Sean said. 20. I have a few goals. Any of my goals for 2020 are relating to me improving myself, healing myself, working on myself, especially things that I feel like are holding me back. And the main thing is 
me being sensitive. I'm really sensitive and it might not show it, but when I tell you I'm so sensitive, I still expose myself right now. But yeah, I just need to work on my sensitivity and like not being so sensitive and letting everything get to me. But it's like really hard and I can't help it. And I also want to work on speaking out more, like just honoring my true voice and letting it speak. I feel like my throat chakra is really imbalanced and I need to work on that because if I want to be what I want to be, if I want people to know who I am, like who I actually am and not who, um, or I guess like what I portray on social media, then I need to speak up like, um, I just feel like I'm really odd when it comes to talking to people that I don't know. It depends. Like, if people watch my YouTube videos or if they DM me, for, like, coming from my YouTube channel, and I see them around campus and they're, like, trying to talk to me, I feel so weird. I'm like, they probably think I'm so weird right now, and then I end up being weird and awkward. So if you're watching this, I'm really sorry if I was ever being weird to you. I'm just, like... I'm really anxious like I have really bad anxiety and I'm not even kidding when I say I have really bad anxiety like I actually am on medication for it but my insurance doesn't cover it so I haven't been on it for a couple months but anyways I could go on a whole rant about the healthcare system but I want to be a healthcare professional public health professional and hopefully by the time I'm actually in my career, there will be some substantial changes. I promise I'm actually really cool too, but I just need to be confident in myself and just let myself speak. So I've been reciting daily affirmations and I'm just really stoked on how I'm going to improve myself. I'm excited to see the new and improved Aliana. Um, no one can stop me. Um, what else? I'm feeling like very creative lately and YouTube is my creative outlet. So I really hope I come out with some good video ideas that are not basic. I'm gonna put my scarf on. Usually when I braid my hair, I leave it in for like so long and when I take it out, it looks so nice. So if you want like your hair to last but you're really low maintenance just put two braids in your hair and your hair is detangled as well and it's more stressed but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope this video was enjoyable or at least like you could watch this and do something else like your makeup or something wishing you all a prosperous 2020 it's gonna be the best year and i hope you guys have some goals that you are ready to accomplish and you went into this year with a positive attitude because this year is all about working on ourselves and we're about to be lit 2020. I am really excited. I'm doing a lot of traveling in 2020. It's gonna be so exciting. It's just gonna be new beginnings and yeah, I'm so thankful that you watched my video and I'll see you in my next one.